Okay, everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to episode 10 of my Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair Let's Play. In the last episode, we concluded the second class trial, and oh my god, what an ending that was. Uh, I know I said it multiple times in the last episode, but I think that was one of my favorite class trials ever. So I'm excited to see where we're going to go from here. I've had people tell me that chapter 3 is even crazier than 2. It just keeps escalating. I mean, chapter 2 was so crazy, but it's just going to get more and more insane, I imagine. So let's jump into it and let's see what happens. All right, so um, before I forget, I'm going to go in and pick up the items that I need for the special uh, events. I do, uh, I, I do try to make sure to write down as much as possible so I don't forget. So hopefully I've got enough for everything. So I want to get the uh, toy camera. Oh boy, that's gonna take a big chunk of my, uh, of my coins. So I really hope I have enough for the other ones. Uh, okay, so this one I also want. Ooh, I am just going to have enough. So there we go. I've, I've picked all three of the items I need. I have five coins left, so hopefully I'll be able to find as many of the Monokuma statues as possible and get some of those coins back up. All right, now let's get into it. No one's here, right? <laughs> oh, don't like that face. Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Oh my god, has she gone off the deep end after what happened with Mahiru? Alrighty. <laughs> Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Man. Can't believe that's like... Fuyuhiko actually redeemed himself. Like, I didn't think it was possible for me to like his character, but uh, this game has a good way of taking characters that you don't think you're like and make them likable, so. Oh god, that was such a sad episode. So I did have people tell me that um, there are hints throughout the game if you, like, talk to Fuyuhiko and Pekko. They do seem to have some sort of romantic feelings towards each other, which just makes this all the more tragic. Involving himself in Pekko's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right, just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. Nope. There's Sonia. Sonia, Sonia, I still... You think I would know how to say her name by now. Good morning, Sonia. Hajime, you insolent fool. get back. Who do you think I am? I am sorry. Oh, uh, that was unintentional. It is okay. Please be your usual self. Yeah, that was close. I was really going to kneel before her. Um, I am terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta. <laughs> She looked like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? Oh, this is gonna be a very dour, very sad breakfast, as it always is after, you know, events like this. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Or is it just me?
All right, let's see what Hyoko has planned here. What? Hajime, you're already here? Hyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Huh. I I'm not a acting anxious. I it just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. Yeah, she's not a very good liar. This girl, there's something strange. Is she, tr is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Oh! This must be what she was doing. What the heck is this? Oh, that is so creepy. A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos plastered all over it. Didn't Mahiro take these photos? But what's with this terrifying am ambience? Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. Her idea of adorable is very different from mine. Um... I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> Mahiru is going to be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful for them, right? Hyoko, did you... Uh, hello? Uh, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. And then Hyoko's probably going to go back to... Shut up, pig barf. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh. <laughs> what are these, these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this this is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh? Photos. Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Oh, Hyoko is not gonna like that. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> This is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. I do feel kind of bad for Hyoko because she genuinely thought that this was a nice like thing, I'm sure, some sort of like shrine to Mahiru, but everyone else is seeing it like as some sort of like ritualistic thing. Oh. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nummy! Good, mongrel. What's with those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... Hey! Oh, I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Hmm? You're right. There's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. Aww. <laughs> She won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry she'll cry tears of blood. Aw, huh? oh, Hyoko's probably just like dying inside her heart is breaking. Who the hell did this? No! No, we'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... <laughs> fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is... Hold it! You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Rahi Mahiru. You can't burn it. Aw, Chiaki is like, she's the only one who sees this as... It's supposed to be a nice thing. <laughs> mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps... Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... You sure are simple-minded. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? Huh? It cannot be. Was the person who made this... <laughs> oh. Mahiru was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. 
So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> oh my god. Right off the bat, this is like really upsetting. <laughs> Meanwhile, Teru Teru, everyone has forgotten about him. He gets no memorial, he gets nothing. Hyoko, you... I did want to make it look better, but... But unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. Oh god, they're making me feel bad for Hyoko too. I'm sorry! Like, it seems like chapter 2 and 3 is going to be the redemption chapters for the characters I don't like. I am sorry! I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry! So See, now everyone's gonna get along for all of, like, two seconds and then there's gonna be another murder. Well... This always happens. It's always like, someone gets killed, find the killer, everyone bands together and say, all right, no more killing, and then it happens again. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. I want to know where she got that skull head thing. I don't know if she grabbed that from the ranch or if that's actually like a... If that's like a bull skull. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off this island too. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not, we would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine, then I'll forgive you all. Except Mikan, of course. Well, I mean, she couldn't be totally redeemed, I guess. Why? Why? Why are you so strict with me? I wonder if they're gonna get into why Hyoko hates Mikan so much. Obviously, there's some sort of tension back when they were students. But, I don't know. I see. Man, I it's see. so unexpected. Meow. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoko has a very kind heart. Sonya, I think you're giving her a little too much credit. That's not it! Kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Jeez! Stop it already! <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it! Don't tease me. <laughs> Hyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you pig-faced troll! Why only me? <laughs> exactly. Why only me, Khan? Uh, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Oh, I forgot about Gundam. I have arrived. Oh, he's gonna love this thing. I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Okay, maybe not. Impossible! A malice clings to Mahiro even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst! Oh, and Nagito too, right? I forgot that he's not tied up anymore. Wow, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Stand aside. I shall shatter this barbaric blasphemous false idol to pieces. Aw. Damn it, we just calmed her down. <laughs> now that those two are here, do you think we're do you still think we're splendid? Hmm. Mm, looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this peace would be, of course. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. Yeah, I've had people tell me that episode 3 is crazy, so I'm excited. I hope that's the right word for what this is going to be. This tragic event. We just hadn't realized it yet. 
Chapter 3, Trapped by the Ocean Scent. <laughs> Whew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um, is he really all right? I was so, so concerned I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if I only could have tended to his wounds somehow, I wish I wasn't so useless. <sighs> well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. You... Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right! Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So... I'll show you my Leave the rest side. to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong! Avenge? He's not even dead. Sheesh! What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Hello! Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Huh? huh? Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no! I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Um... Uh, you finally asked me. Hey! Well, once again, I've defeated another Mana Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you've defeated a Mana Beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding. That's right. You are now able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Love, love. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Could, could Are be? you guys thinking about leaving the island, even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More important... Uh, sorry. More importantly, Monami, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um... Um, you see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sonya, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You see? You're also part of that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey! I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? Huh? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally fill this in. <laughs> Ugh, what a dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Bye-bye! Truly, this is the tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec! She ran away again. She's always like that when things get inconvenient for her. Well... Oh well, who cares about Monami? More importantly... <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However... I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? See, it's funny, like, Nagito will say something and he's like his usual crazy self, and Shaki will say the exact same thing, but she sounds more reasonable and sane. So, but they're essentially th saying the same thing, but when Shaki says it's like, okay, that makes sense. She's right, let's just try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Hmm. Hmm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the mana beasts and search the islands in one go? Leave it to me. If that strange looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on. Don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nakito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Okay, so, uh, I'm reading my notes here, and it says, um, that I have to talk to Kazuichi first. 
but it says what like after everyone investigates the island so i'm guessing it's probably going to make me just go straight to the island so i just have to make sure that before anybody else i talk to kazuichi because i'll miss my chance if i if i don't talk to him all right so here we go new island i'm always excited to see what the uh what's on the new islands monami was right the mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone then if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. So oh, this wow. This is the third island. The Wait. ambience is completely different compared to the previous islands. Is that called Titty Typhoon down there? What a name. I don't even, I'm, I, I don't even know what that could possibly be. Sounds like a strip club. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Oh wow, this is like an old west uh, town. Ooh, hospital. I wonder if we, this must be where he is, I'm guessing. It looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Hajime! Whoa, jeez. Hajime. Holy sh... <laughs> I I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. Except it's not a very clean looking hospital. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. Um... But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? But... Ah, uh, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> that means I had. I need to go check them, right? Uh, understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Mikon frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Hmm. All right, well, let's talk to Gundam since he's here, but I am curious if Fuyuhiko is here or if he's at a different hospital. <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? How pitiful. I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's telling me to forget it. The patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mikon. Okay, I guess I can't go in there after all. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on the island, so who was this notice written for? So I gotta remember to keep my eye out too for, um, for the Monokuma statues because I basically have no coins left. All right, well, I think I've seen all I can see here. So that was kind of a disappointment. I was really hoping there would be more to the hospital than that, but... I guess they did say, you know, we got to explore the island before we can see who... <laughs> oh, it's a music venue. I love the name, though. Titty Typhoon. I bet you Ibuki's going to be here. This would be her kind of place. This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Yep, uh, <laughs> Sonia, I would not expect to be here. This doesn't seem like a place for a princess, but... What the? Yeah, she's loving this. Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. That's totally it! Because this is a music festival, or, or sorry, festival. This is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I love music! I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to... Wait, she just said that. Huh? <laughs> did I just say that twice? I thought there was something wrong with me. I'm like, did I hit a wrong button or something? Huh? Okay, game, I get it. 
Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Weirder than normal for you. No problem. Not at all. I'm totally fine. No problem. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Crap! Did I just say that twice again? Crap! Okay, if this becomes Ibuki's new thing, I'm sorry. I'm not going to hang out with her because this is getting annoying fast. You don't look very okay. <laughs> Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. <laughs> I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out another place. He's like, talking to Ibuki has made me suddenly feel very tired. Amazing! What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled, fabled disco. Disco? Wow, you're like four decades behind there, Sonya. See? It is where hip, yup. Yeah. It is where hip youngsters wear feathered fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. It says staff only on the doors. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's a stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here we need right now. For some reason, I have a feeling this mirror, it's just such an out of place thing in here. I feel like that's gonna come back during the eventual investigation that we will be doing. Whenever there's any sort of storage room, I'm just thinking I'm like, yeah, there's definitely gonna be some sort of evidence in there. Well, I mean, uh, so far, this is uh, definitely an interesting island. Definitely a lot rougher looking than the uh, than the other parts of the island. And of course, what's uh, what's a dirty looking place without a seedy looking motel? It's funny, like the rest of the island is so like, what's the word I'm thinking of? It, it's so luxe and this place is so dumpy. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. Okay, Hiyoko, I get it. Uh, yeah, you're not you're not a nice person. You had your sweet moment at the beginning, but now you're just back to your normal self. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? But, but we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around doing nothing? Oh, got called out. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, praise a fool and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So... Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her raw attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. She is just so good at manipulating people and it's kinda scary. All right, well, since Akane is apparently doing the looking, I guess everyone has their own place they're investigating, so I'm kind of, uh, kind of feel useless this time around. I'm not really doing much investigating. There's a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait! With this many machines, we could probably find something we could use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Oh, wow, this place is... Dang, okay. Are you serious? Are you shitting me? 
What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not! Don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know? Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. You... Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. <laughs> I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. <laughs> Hot damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Aw, man. But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah. It's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? Okay, you sounded normal the first bit there, and then you got into weird, like, serial killer territory. That's not normal. That's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. You serious? Seriously? Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna tell Sonya, really stay away from this guy. I see, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. What is this? There are so many machines, just by looking at them I have no clue what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. Okay, put that tongue back in your mouth, sir, when you're talking about that stuff. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Huh? Hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? No one said you did. Speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? Ugh, he says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a, dis d a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up... My eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File. What is that? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. Alright, what does it say here? About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, this horrendous uh, event originated with the students of Hope Speak Academy, the students of the research department uh, dissatisfied with being treated different. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. Oh, phew. well, I got ahead of myself there. Okay, with some students of Hope's Peak Academy causing re uh, a revolt, the students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to be a much more diff uh, sorry, it seemed to have a much more different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful, purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Hope Speak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair... Uh, something. It's no use. The words are too garbled to read beyond this point. But what is this? Boy! <laughs> hmm, proud. how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really hey, 
spring break! Can you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important the scene is? Could it be, were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my, what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, riots in various parts of the world. And Hope Speak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And, and? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Wah wah? Huh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. Okay, so there is something about my character then that makes him different. The fact that he doesn't know what his ultimate is, I did feel... I think I said this, like, early on. I feel like he's connected to this somehow, and he doesn't know it. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived. Is that... is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey! Hold on a sec, you guys. Hey, hey! Just, what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So you saying? can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime? Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's just making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. Okay, so, um, I saw it back here. I'm wondering, is this, uh... Oh, it is, too. Huh? I've been found? I meant to grab him before. I was, like, I was thinking... Okay, there we go. So now that I've got him... All right. Obviously, I'm going to talk to Chiaki, but let me check out everything else first. Oh, there's random microwave there. Terror Terror would have never used this old microwave. He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer... <laughs> Man, Mahiru gets an entire, like, shrine built for her. Haji... Er, Hajime. Terror Terror gets a mention when you look at a microwave. Little bit of a discrepancy there. Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electronic appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Oh, so that's what you're doing. Um... I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incidents. Okay, is there anything else here? Alright, I think I've seen everything, so... Well, there we go. That revealed a little bit of something. There's quite a lot of stuff in uh, this part of the island, actually. Ooh, a movie theater! Welcome! Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you saying? Are your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Of course! Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case? I'm definitely not going to watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never going to see it. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. Damn it! But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm going to be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. No, no! That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, so long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have a chance, uh, never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it, but 
What are you going to do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Oh my god, he's so little. He's so little. If he wasn't evil, he would be a lot cuter. What? I don't want to buy a Monokuma sticker. I just got a little bit of coins back. And I've got to spend them all. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami's face on it. No. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag used for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. I bet you... Someone online is selling these things. I saw another one with the Monokuma, and I think it said, Sorry, I was born stupid or something. I bet you can buy those online. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Hmm? So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this the sticker you were talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How how fast is this? Actually, to tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I've received from a wandering miracle working priest. What? And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars. Dude, I got like 15 coins, okay? 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money. <laughs> then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always just watch my Fine, I'll pay it. I don't Whoa, believe I'm surprised. It. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything, even $1.5 million. Ba -bum, ba -bum. You, you're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for the sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. <laughs> but if I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money, after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here! Come on, take it, thief, and slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap-looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Whoa there, looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door, leading into the theater. The door opened violently, and one person appeared from within. <laughs> hey! Ooh, hey! Did I see another Monokuma thingy over there? Ah, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks when I was watching it. Hmm. Uh, um... Yes! Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> I thought it was going to be another motive, but I guess that's not the case. What a letdown. Money would have settled this, I should have just settled with money. Nakito is so depressed, that movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Yay! I knew you could do it! <sighs> Sigh, I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just sold it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie, well, I'd gladly obvious. pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad, huh? Alright, Hajime, over here, please hold on. Sonia, did something happen? Well? Just now, I went to the hospital and... <gasps> it appears Mikon has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery at the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It is the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly what I'm- yep. Jeez, are you so unrefined? It is Japan's legendary medical drama. 
That Person in the Wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It is about a righteous rookie doctor and an elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting in the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. Yep, there we go. That's gotta be for you, Hiko. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yep. There are patient rooms lining the hallway, but everyone is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feeling of us common folk. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place, and I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress, and you're even opening up to everyone. Great! That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well... No, not at all. Hmm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. I have a feeling Nagito knows. Like, is he in cahoots with Monokuma and them, and he knows about my past? And he knows why I don't remember my... I don't know. I'm just very excited to find out what I have to do with all of this. I feel like my character definitely has some sort of purpose in all of this. Since you've dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, what did he really want to say to me? So don't worry, you guys have told me uh, to try and hang out with Nagito as much as possible, and I will do my best. I do still have to hang out with Ibuki at least once, and I do of course want to hang out with Fuihiko when he does feel better, but I will... Oh god. That's really creepy. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I will definitely hang out with, uh, with Nagito. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Oh, what? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, it's good to see him. Never thought I'd say that about Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko, are you alright? It's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds, but they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Aww. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes. But still... But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she wouldn't have done... Or, sorry, that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? Oh, that's, oh, this has got to be so tough for him, so... After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. Um. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it would be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. 
Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me! I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously wrong! Seriously, he's not dead. Um... You shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on! Akane, Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. I'm still wondering about uh, Nekamaru. He does say he doesn't want to lose anyone, but I wonder if specifically he means Akane. Maybe he's got feelings for her. No. Just saying. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then... Then do whatever you want. Nekamaru. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So, do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... However, I'm never going to do it to you again. <laughs> what? Huh? It? Uh, uh, please yeah. keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey! Hey, wait a sec. Ma Nikamaru. It, it was my first time. I never thought something like that feels so that feels so good ever existed in this world. Okay, the fact that they're explicitly making it sound like something else is making me think it must be like fight related. Maybe the fact that he actually beat the crap out of her and maybe that's what she's talking about. When she said she uh, got into that fight with him and that's what caused her to bleed. Maybe this is what she means. My body still hasn't forgotten and now you're just saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey! You're kidding. Is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're not gonna heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nekamaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on, I can't live without it! With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekamaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Yeah, it's probably got something to do with, like, fighting. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hyoko? Oh, she's probably still pissed at him after what happened. Huh. It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Hyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what it means it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! Suspicious. It's definitely suspicious. Uh... All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the part where they say, talk to Kazuichi first. And I gotta make sure I do have that- pretty sure I got that thing in my inventory. So. Maybe... It's probably impossible, but are those two, like, in an intimate relationship? An intimate relationship? That's not how a teenager would describe it. Hmm. But didn't you hear it? How Akane was pleading as she ran after Nekamaru? Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. The more he talks about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. Ah. But following after them is scary too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. If only I had more courage. Oh my god, is this where like the man's nuts gonna come out? Hey Kazuichi, those who won't run will never see the goal. Whoa! Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see and it just crossed my mind. Ah. What an inspiring quote! Huh? All right! Hajime, my eyes are open now thanks to you. All right, let's go run together. Me too, <laughs> Kazuichi's always bringing me into his like, dirty schemes. Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon. Okay, looks like I did do this right, perfect. Kazuichi was filled with a weird sort of energy as we left the hospital together. He was practically dragging me. Oh all god, right. oh no, are we gonna creep on Akane? Ugh, all right, our horizon is right here. Why does every special event have to involve like us being creeps? Are you stupid? If you don't lower your voice, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> no problemo, they're already inside the cottage. Once they start getting into it, there's no way they'll be able to hear their surroundings. <laughs> okay then, let's go my friend, let's run to our goal. 
I seriously should have kept my mouth shut. There's no way I'll be able to stop him. Hmm. So how about it, Hajime? Do you see anything? No, but if we keep peeking like this for much longer, we might get caught soon. <sighs> uh. <sighs> what the? Was that Akane's voice just now? Hey! Hey! What the heck was that? That's a chick's voice, and it sounds hot. Could it be... Are they really... Come on! Come on! <laughs> come on! Oh yeah, I guess he did mention something about, like, his massages, I think, a long time ago. My body just can't live without this anymore! <laughs> okay, so it's not quite fighting like I thought it was. There's only one ultimate masseuse, <laughs> and that's me, Nekomaru Nida! I'll need every pressure point throughout your body, and I'll help you see a brand new world. I'll blow away your fatigue! Oh my god. How about it? You just can't live without it anymore, huh? Ah. Hey, Hajime. Horizons are beautiful things that you keep chasing after, right? Probably? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so, what exactly is a horizon, anyway? You were using that word without knowing what it is? Well... Well, you know, it sounds kind of cool, right? Of all the words I know, that one sounded the coolest. Damn it, in the end, getting lugged around like this just made me even more tired. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who will run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have any friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? Ugh, ugh. Thanks to Kazuichi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. Oh well, I might as well head over to the restaurant. Okay, so I have to be careful here, too. Um, so I am supposed to talk to Hyoko and Ibuki before breakfast, and then I can get their special scenes. And I'm just praying, praying that I don't have anything <laughs> dirty happen with those two. I just want, like, a nice special, like, scene without it being perverted. Okay, I do want to talk to Akane Jeez. and Nekomaru. I'm kind of tempted to talk to them and be like, so, did you guys have fun last night? Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Something to find? Want me to help you? Huh. It's fine. I'm just going to look for a camera. And I'll probably find it really fast. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a toy camera. That's weird. Really? Um... If that's the case, I'd probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, you! Hajime, I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Hey, hey! Come to the music venue right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. You've got some free time, right? So it's okay, right? Yeah, of course I'll do it. <laughs> I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. Bye! Then it's a promise. You definitely have to come. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but is this really okay? I hope she doesn't make me do anything weird. Okay, so am I allowed to... Can I agree to hang out with Ibuki and Hyoko? Aww. Hmm, hmm. 
Like, I would rather hang out with Ibuki just because I haven't hung out with her yet, so hopefully, maybe because I usually have two free time slots. So maybe if I agree to hang out with both of them, I'll just, like, they'll just automatically make me go to those two special events. What's happened? Aww. I want to listen. Huh? Emergency! I want to listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists. There's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starving to death from musical deprivation. Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? This is going nowhere. They do, but there's only the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Ugh. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world. I do have this CD, but it's not the kind of music you like, right? Oh! Oh, this is this is summer festivities. <laughs> you must not be scared of anything if you seriously showed this to me, Hajime. Is there something wrong? Aww. Ah, crap. I seriously can't believe you don't know. Hey! Hey! The song Summer Festive... Uh, this is a hard thing to say. Summer Festive Trees is by the Black Cherries. Those guys always got hyped as rivals of my own ba of my old band. Concert promoters would be like, Battle of the Bands, an epic showdown between the chicks and the dudes. And they always like to compare their ticket sales and concert attendance numbers with ours. Oh, really? Then... <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me anymore since I left the group. Why you? Like, music shouldn't be reduced to sales numbers. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> However, thanks to that CD, I thought up something awesome. Something awesome? Yes! Okie dokie, Hajime. I have a question for you. Are you free tonight? That that sudden? And what time is tonight exactly? Hold on a sec! Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here. Hurry up and answer me. Hopefully... I do hope that, that this isn't going to overlap with uh, Hyoko's thing. Well, I guess I have some free time. <laughs> Nice answer. Just as expected from Hajime. Hey! Hey! Then, let's see. Two hours before Monokuma makes his announcement. Let's all meet at the supermarket, okay? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I only casually promised her, but I guess it's okay. I should try not to forget. Okay, so I'm guessing it's gonna be Hyoko first, and then- Oh, jeez. Hi, Akane. I will talk to her, Yo. now that I've got the two things I was supposed to do out of the way. Yo, Hajime! Good morning. Hey, hey! You're looking better than usual. Everyone I've met is like that, too. Did something happen? Well, Fuyihiko is safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel I can eat more delicious food than usual. All right! Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm gonna eat everything in that restaurant. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy, too. Ugh, Kazuichi, I don't want to talk to you after yesterday. Dragging me into that again. <sighs> Good morning. What happened? You don't sound that excited. Kazuichi's playing that arcade machine over there. You can just play it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I played one match with him earlier. He told me to give it my all, so I did, and... I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. Kazuichi, I wonder which one's more childish. Speaking of which, all right, I'll talk to him. Yo! Yo, Hajime, how are ya? Are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Hmm. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help noticing. So she's letting me play for a little while. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. You. You say that, but you're like the queen of the arcade machine. You think so? Really? You serious? You're not aware of that at all? Uh. After she just said that she won a flawless victory against him. Well, after getting beaten up in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. Nope. You don't have to return the favor. <gasps> what did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this, you'll definitely catch this topic's bait. You want to listen, right? 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 You just really want to say it. Mm. Then what is it? Right. Listen and be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? I found some portable game console thing in the junk over there. <laughs> really? Is it true? <laughs> See? What did I tell you? You totally took the bait. Hmm. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Aww. Oh, how useless. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on, hold on! Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up till it's like brand new. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it. Probably. <laughs> Chucky, it's not a nice thing to say. He's doing you a favor. Hey, 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 hey! Probably. Look forward to it. Otherwise, I'll be sad, you know? 
Just watch. I'll completely fix it up, and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Isn't his intent kind of off? He's like, I'll make you so happy that you're gonna cry. Oh, well, his heart's in the right place. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat like, uh, lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko's safe. Then... The day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from the island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! But there's a music venue. I see. I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us? <laughs> In the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um... I was told about that by Nakito, so I checked it as well. This, too, must be the will of causality. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy has been destroyed? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. But even if it is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. Damn it. Symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How pitiful. So basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> Hold on, it's this time again, not this time around. You don't have to correct us each time. See? However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's gonna come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. He totally deserves that. I guess maybe there's a... Maybe it's some sort of like symbolic an eye for an eye kind of thing where it's like he got... Uh, Mahiru killed, so he lost his eye, like, literally. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little bit too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Sheesh. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Um... Okay, then. Since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Oh? Uh? Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. Yo! If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my! She's, like, really pumped up. Huh? I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meeting ended, and we all went back to our cottages. Alright, so I guess now is going to be my free time. Okay, so it will have me automatically meet Hyoko. Perfect. I'm supposed to meet Hyoko now. What did she want me to do with the camera at the music venue? Hey, Hyoko, I'm here. Jeez! You're late, Hajime. Oh my my! My my, if it isn't Hajime, what's up? Ibuki and Chiaki too? Why are you guys... Uh, Could it be, does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Cameraman? Wait, hold on, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Man, you sure are dense. You won't get it unless I explain it to you. Dense or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. Well? Apparently, we're gonna hold a memorial for Mahiru right now. Mahiru? I see. Mahiru I see. told me she wanted to take a pictures of me jamming on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hyoko dancing. <laughs> so we decided to do it all together here. I shall call this the Memorial Jam Session. Man, Mahiru gets a jam session and she gets a shrine. And <laughs> once again, Teru Teru gets nothing. And Byakia. I forgot about Byakia. He gets nothing as well. I'm already forgetting about the people who've died. I see, so I have to take pictures of that? I guess it would make sense for Teru Teru not to get a memorial so much because he did kill someone, but like, Byakia! Like, he got nothing at all. And he died for us, like how tragic is that he's already been forgotten about? I guess that's a great idea, I'm sure Mahiru's going to be happy. Hey, hey! If you think so, you're gonna accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility. Hey! Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will. There's no way my pictures will be as good as Mahiru's, but I'll take as many as I can. Yep. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument, too. 
You too? Um... At first, I heard about the idea from Ibuki, and I was just planning to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Yep. Even I can play something like this, so... Is it okay if I participate? Right. Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn for Mahiru. No problemo! No problemo. You don't need stage uh, skill on the stage, just heart. Huh. Well, I guess it's okay. Mahiru is probably going to be happy about that. Understand? But if you suck, I'm going to make you stop, okay? <laughs> and so we finished our preparations, and the memorial service for Mahiru began. Aw, there we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are crushed by the silent serenade! Even the tips of my fingers are crimson red! There we go. It's nice to have a non-perverted special scene. This is actually really sweet. It's so electric! It feels awesome! Chiaki's hitting that triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy, and everyone's doing different things, but strangely, it's harmonizing really well. Even though our paces are all different, will we be able to be like this in the future? Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hiyoko's dance? Not just Mahiru. Peko. There we go. They're being mentioned. Peko, Terutero, Byakia. Are you all watching? We will never forget about you. Ever. Even though I did totally forget about Byakia and Terror Terror for a little while as well. And we will not waste your deaths. We will survive and get off this island. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back for my, uh, to my cottage for the time being. Now then, what should I do today? Oh, okay, so I guess I do have... So that was a thing before the free time. I was assuming that it would take up free time section. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess I'm still gonna have a Buki's thing tonight? Or was that... Was that part of it? She did say nighttime, though. So I'm guessing a Buki's special scene is still going to be happening later. Okay, so, uh, let's check out where everybody is. So, for the free time, I will hang out with Nagito, and I will hang out with a Buki, if they're available, because that's who I said I was gonna hang out with. Okay, so Nagito is in the library. Okay, Ibuki, of course, is at the music venue. Alright, so I will go hang out with... I'll go hang out with Ibuki first, and then I'll go hang out with Nagito. Hey! Hey! There's a hospital on the new island, and Fuyuhiko happens to be there. Doesn't that seem convenient? Aww. Ibuki's nose detects the scent of a conspiracy. I hope I didn't That's think to totally it! I didn't think to check my presence. I hope I have something that she might like. Let's reveal the conspiracy together. The answers might or might not be hidden at the hospital. I spent today getting dragged all over the hospital by Ibuki. Feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. All right, please, please let me have something she might like. Okay, so I saw this little toy here, and I, I was thinking of Hyoko for this. But I feel like Ibuki might like it as well. I hope. Let's let's give it a try. This is going nowhere. Ah, dang it. Well, that was my first fail. Well, no thanks. This thing is seriously, uh, just no thanks. It's pretty amazing how you have no sense at all. Thanks, Ibuki. Hajime! Yes, yes. What? Meow! Hurry, hurry up and choose me. Um, what? Hey, hey! Were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened in our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> That's a major bingo. What is? <sighs> well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it! But now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon, too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. It's not something the ultimate musicians should say. 
but even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be so popular with the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. Hajime! By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow! Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar! Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. Uh, let me see. I've never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really- Oh my god, I'm so nervous after, like, striking out with her gift. I don't want to strike out with this as well. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say keyboard? Then maybe the keyboard? Are you serious? You can play the keyboard? What a surprise. What? No, I've never even touched one before. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang, it's easy to tell if you're faking it playing the keyboard, so that's a no-go. What's next? Uh, the bass? I'll use the bass then. Ah, uh, dang it. Nope, denied. I thought I was fine as long as I didn't pick the guitar. Aww. You might stand out too much and steal Ibuki's spotlight. She's supposed to be the main event, you know? I've never played. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible with Ibuki's things here. Then I guess the drums. Good job! That's awesome. <laughs> well, it only took me three, uh, three choices. All right, it's decided. Drums are great, because you can just hit them to the beat, and you don't even have to know how to read music. <laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. See, the thing is... <laughs> I guess she has a point about the drums, but I was just thinking, back when I was really into, like, rock band, I really had a hard time with the, with the drums. So for me, that's not as easy as it seems. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see. Now that I we've see. decided on an instrument, <sighs> let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just hold on. <laughs> you should, sorry. It doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> put your soul into it. Shout! Shout! I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. Well, I'm glad I still managed to get something positive even though I failed at every aspect of that uh, free time event. Oh well. I parted ways with Ibuki and went back to my room feeling exhausted. Well, hopefully my, uh, my thing with Nagito will go a little bit better. Nagito should be so happy that I want to hang out with him, especially considering nobody else wants to hang out with him, that whatever gift I give him, he should just be falling to his knees thanking me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you must be really bored to talk to a pest like me. Yep. It's okay, let's just walk around the island together like before. I gotta say, one thing about Nakito is he is very easy to please. I wasn't sure who to give this to, so I guess whenever I have a present that I'm not really sure what to do with, I'll just give it to Nakito. Thanks. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. That's exactly what I was thinking. I don't know if it's bad luck or good luck to receive this, but I'm looking forward to finding out. To be honest, I don't even know why I thought about talking to him. But I feel like the more I left him alone, the bigger my worries would start to grow. <laughs> you have a scary look on your face. You don't have to be so cautious, you know. I won't do anything. As he said that, he smiled at me. Why is this guy... No, thinking about it is a waste of time. Hey. Are... are you thinking about doing something to me? Ew. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm totally up for it. I don't mind at all. Don't mess with me. Do you want to do it to me? Do you want to do it to me? I... I'll never go along with your plans. Wow. That's a problem. I don't want you guys to lose sight of yourselves because you doubt and hate me. <laughs> I just want to see you guys embody hope. There it is again. What in the world is this hope you keep talking about? What are you planning to make us do? 
Uh, why am I so misunderstood? I just want to believe in hope, you know? Hey. You should think about it seriously for once. What do you think hope is? I've never actually given it much thought. Hope, for him, hope is... Well, he said it's the opposite of despair, right? Hope is the opposite of despair, right? Wait. Ah, dang it. Of course not. Despair isn't something as grand as hope. Despair is small, is so small and inconsequential, just like me when I'm around you guys. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm doing terrible this time around. Hope is absolute good? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly it. And you guys have the potential to embody it. Do you understand? Hope is a positive force. Everything created by it is an absolute good. Well, that's obvious. As long as the seeds of hope have been planted, I will gladly kill someone or be killed in return. And this is where Hajime really regrets hanging out with him. The fact that I'm alive right now is already hope. It's no use. I definitely don't understand what he's talking about at all. But even so, all I can say is... It doesn't seem like he's trying to trick or trap anyone for the sake of his selfish desires. That's why this is especially troubling. Hey. Are we done talking, Hajime? That's disappointing, but we can still talk anytime, right? See? After all, we're both friends who yearn for hope. After listening to Nagito, I quickly left the area and locked my doors. <laughs> It's almost time to meet Ibuki. Oh yeah, right, I forgot all about that. We had to meet at the supermarket, so I should head over. Hello! Good morning, Meow. Right here, Hajime. Hey, Ibuki. Uh, what's with those piles of cardboard boxes? <laughs> Summer's all about fireworks. Fireworks? <laughs> Dirty fireworks disappear into the sky. It's a lyric from Christmas festivities. That's totally it! Now, Hajime, let's carry those cardboard boxes to the beach and I'll leave the setting up to you. All of this? Just the two of us? Oh my my! My my, you're pretty gutsy, Hajime. Are you saying you want to be alone with me on the beach at night? No, I didn't mean that. Meow! I'm just kidding. I also invited the others, like Chiaki and Akane. I see. I Everyone see. else brought all the fireworks here. We can just leave the rest to Hajime, so Ibuki and the others can change into, into their yukatas. Yukatas? <laughs> or as Sonya would say, Japanese yukatas. If you work hard here, you can see Sonya, Mikan, and Nekamaru all wearing yukatas. I see, yukatas, huh? <laughs> Looks like some give and take has been established. Wait, hold on, Nekamaru's coming too? If you invited him, then why isn't he here right now? I loved how she didn't think maybe the big burly guy would be, be better at carrying all of the boxes than me. <laughs> Nekamaru helped us out during the day. Now it's your turn, so I'll leave everything to you. Hey, Ibuki. She didn't even hear me. I let out a sigh, picked up the cardboard boxes, and started walking toward the beach. It's not like I was lured by the yukatas. Okay, so here's something, and I don't know that much about Japanese culture is every time I play like a game like this where they mention yukatas, they act, the guys act like it's the sexiest article of clothing that a girl could possibly wear when like they're literally just covered from head to toe. I don't get it. Can you guys maybe like explain why yukatas are just seen as like so attractive in these types of games? Ooh. Yahoo! A firework disappeared under the sky! I say, no, don't get me wrong. I think yukatas are beautiful. Japan summer. Nervous but summer. I just don't see why guys would find them so, like, alluring, I guess. It's going to be fine. There's no way the sparks will fall all the way here. Ooh. <laughs> uh, amazing. How wonderful. Huh. This sure is fun. Hey, hey. Hey, why is Nekamaru shouting like that? Aw, oh, and I'm the only one who doesn't have a yukata. Don't you know? That's what you do when the firework goes up. Hmm. I see. That's pretty interesting. You go, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Was that okay as is? Hajime! Get him up there more! I know, I know. Oh. 
Hajime, once you finish launching that one, I'll trade with you. Enjoy the fireworks, too. Thanks, Nekamaru. You're the only one looking out for me. After having such a fun time, I returned to my cottage with a feeling of satisfaction. It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. Should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. You guys! It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget. They all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So, isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. Good, no, oh, no, Jesus. Ah, oh, why are people jumping up so much and scaring me? What is she doing in my cottage? Good morning. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. What the? <laughs> what a huge success. I received such a nice reaction. Ibuki, how did you get in here? Aww. Hajime, you're so careless. Careless, I made sure I locked the door, especially because Nakito was being creepy AF yesterday. Huh. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why did you destroy it? Hey, hey! Meh, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? <laughs> Four hits. <laughs> no, that was just three. <laughs> if you got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there. So, I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. But she did take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me and bust my lock. Did something bad happen again? I don't think so. She seemed pretty happy. I'm feeling a little depressed now. We gotta make sure Nagito does not know about my lock being broken or else I'm in real trouble. Ah, speak of the devil. Hey, Nagito? Hello there. Good morning, Hajime. Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better, right? What do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko's death as a, as a stepladder so he could shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. You... What? You don't agree? Well... But it's decided that's what hope should be. That's why you and the others progressed forward. <laughs> we should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. How long does he plan to keep saying such foolish things? It's like every time Nagito says something, it just makes people angrier and angrier. Good day. Good morning. I am so glad today is another clear, sunny day. Another? More like... Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it hasn't rained once. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. Oh, it's weird to see Chiaki not over by the game machines for once. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was... Everyone's backs as they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. Oh, snap! I got something I want to say. Fuyuhiko! Dude, you weren't supposed to be out of the hotel... Or, the hotel. You weren't supposed to be out of the hospital for another week. I guess he's just that determined. Fuyuhiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point... I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. Oh my god, apologizing. He truly is a new man. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Boo-Yu-He-Ko. <laughs> that would have been nice when I first started the game and I had him say it very slowly so I could say his name better. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. Wait a minute, did he lose his memory? From this point forward, I hope we oh. get along so we can get to know each other better. He did lose his memory. He's like a super nice version of himself now. What in the world? Fiend. Just what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just a greeting. 
there's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> there's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer... So you can't see out of it, huh? Huh. It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I gained some prestige or something? However... Fuyuhiko. Huh. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hyoko. You. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru is dead. No, not just Mahiru. Peko died because of you too. Oh, dang. That's a low blow. That's really low. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh, maybe he didn't lose his... Maybe he just... He is introducing himself... I, I can't tell if he actually has lost his memory or not. But then why... I don't know. Hyoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. Okay, so he didn't lose his memory. It was just like a weird... I guess it was the whole thing about how he didn't actually introduce himself to us properly, so he's trying to make amends? I already know that it's my fault that those two are dead. You... Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. Oh, this is so weird to see him like this. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Oh. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me! Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, what? Did he just commit, um... Did he just kill himself? Oh my god. Huh? This is... Ah! Oh my god! It's blood! It's blood! Dude, you gotta be kidding me! He just committed, what's it, uh, seppuku? Did he just, like, kill himself, like, in, in order to... Uh, what? Oh my god! This Damn! game! This game! Fuyuhiko slit his own stomach! Huh? Ah! Are you saying he cut open his own friggin' stomach? This game is horrible! Why? It just... It made me start liking him! And I thought maybe he was just gonna become a cool character and we could hang out and be friends. No! What the? What are you doing? I, I didn't. I didn't think oh, God. I'd be forgiven by such a half assed apology. Jesus. But if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. Please, oh, God, Mikon, please, can you do something? <laughs> that doesn't mean you should slice your stomach. We must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, Kazuichi, lend me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Stop uh. it, I can walk there myself. Ah. There's no way you can walk. <laughs> Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. Okay, Mikan, maybe don't think about yourself in this situation. Yeah. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Man, he really is like a complete... Okay, I'm assuming now I thought for sure he was dead that time, like I thought he had just committed suicide, but hopefully, fingers crossed, he can get patched up again. Because I, I, I actually like him now as a character. He seems to really be trying to be a better person. Uh, Who cares uh, yeah. about that? Let's go! The others carried Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant, but for those of us who are left there, Jesus. Well, Hyoko is... she's been properly shut up now. Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Well? Hyoko, I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <coughs> what... what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... She'd squish ants. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. 
So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we were supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now is not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Oh shit, that's right, she said- Wait, no, that was yesterday she said she was gonna train. But yeah, she's not here, that's- Huh? Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. Oh god, don't tell me she's dead now. First we gotta deal- gotta deal with Fuihiko almost killing himself right in front of us. I can't deal with death right now, okay? Mm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm. <laughs> Coming from you, Gundam, that's rich. But I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. <laughs> Oh god, I got it. We gotta do free time after we just wit witness someone try and kill themselves. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, dang, I'm not quite sure who to hang out with now. I am tempted to keep hanging out with Nagito just because, well, I mean, he's an easy person to, uh, to hang out with and, well, not an easy person to hang out with, I should say. He's actually a quite difficult person to hang out with just because the stuff he says is so ridiculous. But I mean to say, like, he's easy to give presents to. Speaking of which, maybe I should see if I can buy some stuff, because I am pretty low on gifts. So I decided I'm going to go to the beach instead and get my presents that way, because I just find it more fun, to be honest. I like the randomness of it. Alright, I think I got enough gifts there. So I'm I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to hang out with Fuihiko. Um, I wonder if I ever am going to be able to, because it seems like whenever I'm about to, like, I want to hang out with him, something happens to him and he's basically unavailable. So let's see who we do have available here. Oh my god, I can hang out with Fuihiko. I think? Maybe? He, I imagine he's going to be holed up in his room, so I don't know if I'll actually... Fuihiko slit his stomach. I guess that was his way of accepting responsibility for what happened. He looks seriously injured. We should make sure he gets plenty of rest. Okay, well, I had a feeling that probably wasn't going to work, but I wanted to check out regardless. Like, I was like, maybe I could even hang out with him at... in his uh, room, but... I did have a lot of gifts that I could give to Chiaki, and I, I do like Chiaki quite a bit. She might not be my best girl right now, but it's been a while since I've hung out with her, so... Okay, so she's in her cottage. Am I allowed to, like... Okay. Will she come out? Who is it? Oh, I do get to go in. Oh, dang, I've never actually been inside her place before. Wow. Is this all the stuff that Kazuichi gave to her? He said he was setting up a bunch of stuff for her. Like he's going to try and fix things for her. Dang, she's got quite the setup. Chiaki, if I'd known you'd had all the stuff, I would have come over and hung out more. Um... I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe I should head to the diner. Yep. Yeah, you can come with me. Okay, this is... I love knowing I actually have stuff I know she's gonna like, for sure. I actually haven't... I, I forgot to check all the stuff that I did get from the uh, vending machine. So I've got... Rations? Potato chips? I've got shaved ice? Ah, dang, a magazine for gourmands. Well, that would have been great if Terra Terra was still alive. 
Oh, and a book about sword technique. Well, that's going to be wasted too. Of course, the majority of the presents that I got from, from the Monokuma machine were for people that are already dead. But we're not going to worry about that. I'm going to give this tips and tips second edition. Hints and codes for every game ever released. If Chiaki doesn't like this, I don't know who would. Well, how did you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. <laughs> My awesome ability of complete randomness from getting things at the vending machine. Thank you. You've made me really happy. <laughs> Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? <laughs> we are in her room. Morning. Oh no, since you're here, let's talk. <laughs> if you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you didn't get my Shadowgate joke. If you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Hmm. I want to go to a fun place. Fun place, huh? <laughs> yeah, the airport. What a fun place that is. I was like, the park? I don't know if that's fun. That's the one that's got the, um, the countdown thing. Uh, supermarket might be fun. Oh, uh, we'll go to the park. How about the park? Hey, hey. Aw. When you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. There was a game you'd only be able to play in the sun. It's very difficult for adults and shut-ins to play. Okay, that game I do remember. It was for the Game Boy. I think it started with a B? Like... Bo Bok Tai or something like that. I do remember that where it's like you have to be outside and you have to play the game because that's how you kill the enemies is you get it from the sun. But I don't remember exactly what the game is called. But that's a reference I get for once. Looks like she wants to go somewhere else. Fun place. There we go. She said the airport. I was going to flip my... I was like, really? Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest though. And I'm guessing that's a reference to uh, Dead Rising. It sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't know, I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Chiaki is okay with it. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival, this place has too much of everything. What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for Girls' Day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know? Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Um, nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father. Then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Hey, hey. Hey, so what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different flavors. Hmm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this. But for her to not know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Aw, that was sweet. I took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd just be find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Alright. Hmm, I have been playing a while, so I'm like, should I? I think I'll do one more free time, and I think that's where I'll end the episode. Alright, I will hang out with Nagito this time. Since you guys have insisted, try and hang out with him as much as possible, so I will do that. Pretty sure at this point I have hung out with everybody. I think I hang out. I've hung out with Hyoko as well. Pretty sure. 
All right, Nagito, can you now try then. not to be weird, please? Even though I know that's asking a lot. I guess it's about time for someone to start yearning for hope. Seriously, I should have like a little checklist every time he says the word hope. Do a shot, do a shot every time he says the word hope, you guys will be plastered. Don't actually do that, don't listen to me. <laughs> hey. Do you want to go to the library with me? There's a book there I want to read. Dude, you're already there. What is it with people not knowing where they are? Once again, I can literally just give him anything. I will just give him the crap that I don't know what to give to anyone else. Like here, I'll give him this one, the magazine that was meant for Teru Teru. There you go, take it. Thanks. You're going to give this to me? Thanks, Hajime. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me, even if it's trash or leftover food. That reminds me, your talent is being the ultimate lucky student, right? Man. I happen to think it's extremely boring. For someone who's lucky, you still got dragged into this mess. Doesn't that seem ironic to you? That's not it. Not at all. This is simply the beginning of hope. Shot. <laughs> huh? Actually... I was born with a unique type of hope. Shot. This current situation is foreshadowing the ultimate luck that will be arriving afterward. What do you mean? Well... If everything that's happening right now seems like bad luck, it's all going to result in good luck in the end. As long as I exist, that will definitely happen. <laughs> So, I can't help but feel excited for what's going to happen. I wonder if that's his subtle way of being like, so don't kill me because you need to keep me alive in order for the good thing to happen. Seeing my beloved embodiments of hope, shot, trapped on this island and forced to kill each other so pathetically. Amazing! It's all just a preparation for the good luck that will arrive in the end. I'm going mad from excitement. Dude, you could not have put that any worse. What? You look confused. Isn't that obvious? He thinks the bad luck happening right now is just a preparation for good luck? What's wrong with him? Hey. Then allow me to give you an example. Let's say you end up in a car accident and are hospitalized. On its own, this would seem like bad luck, right? Well, yeah. And? But then you meet a lovely nurse at the hospital and end up becoming a lovey-dovey happy couple. Doesn't this ending mean it was good luck? Well, maybe. See? You never would have met her at all if you hadn't experienced the bad luck of getting into a car accident. Isn't that right? That's always been my experience. The bigger the bad luck I experienced at first. This is exciting! Oh god, that face though. The good luck that comes afterward is so big that it wipes out all of that bad luck. Does that really happen to you? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? That's the talent I possess. That's why I'm called the ultimate lucky student. So that's why no matter what happens, he's always acting happy and upbeat. Okay, well, you know what? I'm glad I hung out with him because that actually is pretty interesting. No matter who is killed, it's just overshadowed by good luck later because it explains his, um, his just very happy nature about things. He's just waiting for the good that's going to come out of this. He, just, he sees all of this bad stuff as a means to an end. Even though it's only a little bit, I sort of understand Nakito's belief. But he's definitely messed up. It's hard to imagine that there will be a day when we're able to really understand each other. I left Nagito and decided to go back to my room for the time being. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already, huh? That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes abnormally fast. Ooh. The doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walked toward the door and opened it slowly, wary of, wary of what might be on the other side. He's probably just happy someone actually used his doorbell instead of breaking down his lock. Nice to have met you. Oh. <laughs> And it's the same girl who broke my lock. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you. You know, since we've already exchanged nice to meet you's. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for, for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than the last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? Um, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Oh no. Invitation. Yes! See, this thing. Invitation ticket, 8 p.m. at the Titty Typhoon. Party for Fuyuhiko Kuzurichi's, uh, Kuzu Kuzuryu's recovery. Sorry, still having trouble with those last names. What the? That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see. A recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Typhoon at 9 p.m. Oh, 9 p.m. 
Oh god, I can't get past that name. I love it. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? How rude. Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Yeah, that was totally her thing. That's why she's offended. Is this your doing? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just, just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Teddy Typhoon is at music festival on the third island, right? 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. So I guess I should head over to the music venue. Okay, so this is where I will leave it. Um, so there we go. I did quite a few free time events, got to know some people a little bit better. Holy crap, that whole thing with Fuyuhiko was so shocking, but I'm so glad that he's okay. Um, so it looks like we're going to be going to this party in the next episode, and I'm just waiting for the next bad thing to happen. So, I mean, we know it's going to happen, but it's just a matter of when. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see what happens next, stay tuned for the next episode, and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye!